Hey guys! This video begins a series of tutorials dedicated to our eBookCommerce membership plugin. This plugin, once installed in a shop built with WooCommerce, allows you, for example, to create restricted areas with content that's only accessible to members. Users that are logged into your site can become members by purchasing a specific product, or if you prefer, they can simply become members when they register. Once they become members, you can create ad hoc permissions to allow them and only them to purchase products, read articles, access video courses, download digital resources, and more. In this video, I'm going to show you the plugin's basic configuration, how to create a membership plan and how to restrict area so that it's only accessible to members. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to be working with this page. I have here in my site a page where I have nine lessons to learn chess and we're going to make this restricted so that only members can access these videos, okay? First of all, we need to create a product that our users are going to have to purchase to become members. So all users can switch to the member role when they purchase this product. Let's go over to the dashboard, products, add new. I'm going to name this one video course. It's going to be 199 with 99 cents. We're going to add a short description here and we're going to add a product image. There we're going to publish. Okay, so now as you saw before, we have this page. The result that we want to achieve is that these videos, these nine lessons are only visible for users that are members because they purchased our video course product, okay? The one that we just created. So to do that, we will use our eBookCommerce membership plugin. First of all, we're going to activate the plugin. So back to the dashboard, plugins, install plugins. I'm going to search for my membership plugin here. There, we're going to activate here. Now we're going to head over to Yid membership and we're going to create a membership plan. So it's membership, membership plans, add new plan. We're going to call this one students. This is the name that is going to be visible for customers also, okay? We're going to enable the option, allow access to this plan after purchasing a specific product. Yes. And we're going to choose that video course product that we created before there so this way users that purchase this video course product will be automatically added as members of this plan let's scroll down under permissions you can set the content to include in this plan you can choose pages blog post products and so on all the content added here in these options for this plan will be hidden for regular users or guests and it will only be accessible to members of this plan. Now, under pages, we're going to select the page that contains all of those videos we saw before. This one, learn how to play chess in nine lessons. This way, we include the page in the student's membership plan and this page will only be accessible for members of this plan, okay? We're going to publish this membership plan Great, so back to the site, refresh. This is how the page would look for members. And I'm going to open a different browser to show you what it would look like to non-members, okay? So as you can see, by default, as I'm not a member, I see this error page. But you could also use alternative content. To do it, let's go back to the dashboard Let's go over to general options. Here we will find useful options to manage our plugin. For example, this first option, automatically assign new users to a specific membership plan. This one allows you to include users into a membership plan when 
they register on our site without purchasing a specific product as we're doing right now. But the option we're looking for is the one below, how to manage access to restricted content. So this is the reason why non-members are seeing that error page, hide content. We can also show limited content and redirect users that are not members to a specific page, for example, a landing page to push them to purchase our product to become members. As a third option, we can set an alternative content. Let's select this one. Now here below, we can see an editor where we can enter a custom text, an image and more. Let's add a title. And below we're going to add this sentence. Only members can see our videos. And we're going to add a link. The link is going to be for the video course. And the sentence is going to be this one. Purchase the video course product to see our videos there. Add link. So this one will redirect users to buy the video course product. We're going to save options. And we're going to see the result in the browser that I have for non-members. And there. So now I can see the title and I can see the alternative content that I just created on my dashboard. Video training, only members can see our videos. And if I click here on purchase the video course to see our video, I get redirected to the video course product to purchase it and become a member. If we want a nicer result, maybe a button, a call to action, we can use the alternative content block and not the default editor, which is what we just did. So how does this work? Let's go back to our dashboard to the membership, membership, alternative content blocks. We're going to add a new block. We're going to use the same text we used for the previous alternative content block. We're going to make this nicer and we're going to add a button there, purchase the video course to see our videos and let's change the size. Let's change to a nicer color. Let's see. This is nicer and we need to add the link. Video course. And now let's publish this. Back to membership, general options. And now we're going to choose load an alternative content block. And we're going to select the name of that content block. Video training, save options. Let's go back to the browser where we are in the site without being members. I'm going to refresh there. Of course, non-members cannot see the videos. This is my alternative content block. Only members can see your videos. This button looks much better than the link we had before, just the text. Once again, if I click here, I'm sending the user to purchase this video course product. So obviously using alternative blocks built with Gutenberg, you can get beautiful and advanced results and create neat pages to load as alternative content for non-members. The only limit is your imagination. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.